All right, it's baby Jess and Travis here. We have been living in our motorhome for a couple of months now in Charlotte, North Carolina. We've been busy and we finally found a good day to give you guys the grand tour. So here we go. So a lot of you may know, but for those of you that don't know anything about motorhomes, I'm gonna kind of give you the, the basic guidelines. So this is what's called a class A um, diesel poster motorhome, which means it's a diesel engine, it's in the back. Ours is an American coach um, brand, American tradition is the model. The class A's are usually some of the bigger motorhomes. And as you can see, this is a, a 40 footer, it's pretty big. So all kinds of bays underneath this thing, but our very first one's kind of cool. It's our entertainment center it's got a tv kind of pull it out put it wherever you want to put it our summer plans are to have some some patio furniture here and just kind of hang out and of course we have an awning that you can hang out under too every motorhome is a little different this one has two of storage areas this bay and that bay and they're actually all the way through some of them are just like a sectional but this one comes all the way through which is really nice for us as you can see i got all my junk tools and parts and stuff to play around with and one thing I didn't point out before, it has some pretty neat little trays. They can come out even further and you can kind of access stuff easier. Slide it back in and locks in and you're good to go. So now we're getting to kind of more of the dirty stuff back here. You know, this is all the battery system for what we call the house batteries. If you don't have power hookup, it'll run off these 12 volt batteries, some of your basic electronics. Fuses and stuff, everything's in here if you have a problem. This is where I start looking. To me, the coolest things about a Class A motorhome uh, in modern years is that they have really neat heating systems. Right here is called an aqua hot, and it actually heats our motorhome. It's where the hot water comes from. Everything that, that requires any kind of heat. So it's really simple and it's all in one spot. I'm gonna have a video out later because I've had to play with this quite a bit and I've learned a lot. And for someone who may um, be scared of it or have one that, that wants to learn how to do some of the work themselves, I'm gonna show you how to do some of the basic stuff. Nothing too fancy. The whole motorhome is leveled by a hydraulic system, which is all this stuff right here. Got some hydraulic uh, rams that kind of lift it and level it. We have all of our engine, oil pumps, water pumps, our filters, and actually the um, air suspension filter as well. Uh, engine access bay. Hopefully you don't ever have to work on it, but if you do, or if you at least need to check something out, you pop in here and pretty much get access to everything. It's not the easiest access in the world but it is there so while we're here this is a car dolly so when we pull out we'll hook up to either jess's car or my car and then just go with us down the road get to our destination pop it off and we can drive around and go do whatever we need to do uh back here is just uh, the main power hookup bay i store a few things in here just because it's kind of dead space but big long extension cord so when we're at a site like this and we can hook up to power um, Real convenient, you just hook up and it's just like you're at home. This is probably everyone's least favorite. Uh, this is called the wet bay. This is where we hook up our water system and then you can obviously drain the, the sewer tanks. So one of the coolest things about uh, motorhomes in general, but especially these class A style motorhomes, is the slide outs. Ours has three, it has two, two pretty big ones on this side and one on the other side. And I mean, it's amazing when you have these things packed in going down the interstate, they're so tight, there's not any room. You get to your destination, you slide them out. It, it feels like it quadruples in size. So it makes it really, really nice, feels like a house, uh, especially for people that spend the time that we spend in one. All right, so that's pretty much it on the outside. Um, I don't think I missed anything. That's all the basic stuff. Didn't want to get too in detail, but I am going to do some more uh, more in-depth videos for those of you who may be more interested in some of that stuff. Working on the engine, working on the aqua hot system, uh, just hooking up and, and getting it all stowed away and how all that stuff works. It's kind of fun really to to be able to go down the road and do all this and just hook up and go. All right, so now we're going to show you the inside, the cool part 
of our 2008 American tradition. I'm gonna show you the inside of our RV. In case you didn't catch it earlier, we live in this thing full time. Don't have an apartment, we don't have a house. This is where we spend 24 seven. These are the seats that Travis and I sit in when we're going down the road traveling. They're really nice because they can swivel and now they're facing the living area. These are the front two slide outs. We have a couch on each side. They both pull out to sleeping arrangements. This one's really nice because it pulls out um, with an air mattress attached to it, a queen size. So that's really great when our spotter Justin comes to stay with us on race weekends. We have a ton of storage above each couch. Um, and as you can see with these slide outs out, there's actually a ton of living space here. Move right into the kitchen. We don't have a garbage disposal and we don't have a dishwasher, but we really have everything else besides that. The microwave doubles as a convection oven, but I do most of my cooking in the crock pot. I have dinner going right now. And when dinner's ready, we will eat over here in the dining area. Most people call this the dining area, but for us, it's really the home office. This is the Travis Braden Racing Headquarters. Travis and I both have our laptop set up here. We got our printer, all of our office supplies in this area. We have a ton of pantry space. This is where Travis hides everything that he doesn't <laughs> want me to eat because I couldn't even tell you what was on that top shelf. We have a ton of refrigerator space, uh, refrigerator on this side, freezer on this side. One of the major things Travis was looking for when he was searching for RVs was he wanted uh, two bathrooms. So this is the half bath. This is the one that is accessible while you're driving down the road and the slide outs are in. A toilet, a sink, everything you need to kind of clean up. This is where Travis gets ready in the mornings when he is trying to stay out of my hair. We also have a central back system. That's super convenient. So this way to the bedroom. So this is the bedroom. We have a queen size bed, our TV here for watching Netflix in the evenings, more storage down here. The drawers are pretty shallow, but we make it work. Obviously I had to really downsize my closet when I moved into here. The things you do for love. <laughs> One of my favorite things about the RV is that you can turn on and off all of the lights from the bed. Both sides of the bed too. Yeah. Yeah. This is the master bathroom. So this is at the very back of the RV. Toilet, sink, cosmetic storage, washer dryer combo. This is the closet. Travis and I share this tiny space. So we have made the most of every square inch. Over here, we have the shower. As long as you're hooked up to water, it's really no different than an apartment um, or your house. And actually under this rug is the compartment to get to the engine. I don't do anything with that, but that's where it's at. That is where it's at. Hopefully I don't have to do anything to it for a while either. That is our home, our RV. We try to make the most of the tiny space. We hope you guys enjoyed it. We think this is pretty cool that we get to do this and move to Charlotte. It was not financially feasible for us to come here any other way. Price of housing, just crazy. So um, it's cool for us that we get to do this and it's actually turned into a lot of fun. Yeah. So we're gonna be sharing more and this weekend coming up is gonna be our first road trip with it.